Welcome everyone to another Star Wars Jeweled Republic video and for this video we're going to be going through the GTN and looking at some really good deals on armor sets. Uh, so this one is going to be called the best armor sets for under 1 million credits. Now I did a very similar video to this uh, about a year ago and that was called the best armor sets for under 500,000 credits. That was part of a series of videos that I was doing. I did it for armor sets, mounts, weapons and all that good stuff. And basically the point of that video was just to talk about some really good deals that we saw on the GTN. But obviously since that video was a year ago Ago. the market has changed we have newer armor sets that have hit the GTN but also uh, we have newer and better deals specifically the reason why I'm doing this is because the newest cartel packs they you know give you three items now and those items instead of giving you grand chance cubes which most people would just go and sell on the GTN they kind of force you to open those grand chance cubes so they're recycling a lot of really old card card on market items and what that is what that means for the GTN specifically is that we're finding some really really awesome deals on some really old armor sets and so I decided to make this video regarding some of the cheapest ones you can find for under 1 million credits and one of the improvements I've made to this video that I didn't do in the other video series about a year ago was that uh, these aren't just armor sets that are going for very low prices I'm using my knowledge of, uh, of because I've been scouring the GTN for months and months and I've been looking at some really good deals on these armor sets and these are armor sets that have periodically gone for low prices so it's not just that today or the day I made this video someone happened to put up a cheap armor set these are armor sets that for the longest time have been going for these prices so they're probably going to be cheap after this video has been released as well and also keep in mind that the newest cartel packs are still kind of giving you lots and lots of items most of those items are recycled old armor sets and so there's going to be kind of a constant influx of these items on the GTN. These are also items that I've seen going cheap across servers. I've checked the Ebon Hawk, I've checked the, checked the Red Eclipse and most of the items that I talk about in this video are actually cheap on those servers as well. Uh, but this one specifically I'm going to be looking at prices on the Harbinger server but it is relatively the same across different servers. And the last thing I want to quickly mention as with all of these videos is usually when I put up these videos uh, the prices take a spike for a little bit because people watch this video then go and buy those armor sets some of them try to buy low sell house so they buy them and then sell them for a little bit higher knowing that other people who watch this video might go and buy that some people just want the armor sets for themselves and so keep that in mind normally the prices will go back down to what you see in the video in about a week or two weeks time my videos don't have that much of an effect but sometimes they can all right getting into the video itself the first thing I want to quickly mention is the way that I find these deals is usually as part of my GTN rotation, I'll go and just type in armor set into the search bar and then I'll go through actually, it's only about a hundred or so pages and I'll just kind of go through and see if I can find any good deals. But um, you guys can go and do that for yourselves as well during your no normal rotations. Let's get into the very first armor set. We'll start with the cheapest one, the Dynamic Brawler. Now, as you guys can see here, going for insanely low price, this is actually not one of my favorite armor sets because the armor set itself isn't too nice. It's only one piece of the armor set that I really enjoy, which is the helmet. And I've talked about this in previous videos as well. Uh, it's kind of this little circlet. I'll show you guys a preview of it. I'll also show you guys what it does. But the reason this is such an awesome armor set is the visual effect that's associated with it. It's one of the few armor sets in the game that has this nice of a visual effect. Uh, so the helmet itself is kind of just this little circlet that goes above your eyes. So if you have a hood on, it's very nice to actually, it kind of covers it up. But there you go, that's the visual effect. When you activate your lightsaber or your rifle or whatever you have on your character, it lights up the eyes and it honestly is really cool. Uh, my favorite thing to do is try it with a Miraluka species, which is basically a species where it kind of has a, a face band covering and it kind of shines through the face band. It looks really cool. I have it on my Jedi Knight. And so this is overall just an awesome, awesome armor piece. Uh, in my opinion, one of the best, and it's going for such an extremely low price. Now, the other parts of the armor set, like the chest plate I showed you guys, they aren't too nice. It's more of the helmet that's the really nice part about it. So that's definitely a really good buy. Uh, the second one we have here is the synthetic biofiber armor set. So once again, I'll show you guys a preview. It's going for really, really cheap here. Um, this used to be an extremely expensive armor set, actually, back in the day when it was released. Uh, it actually went for quite a lot. Nowadays, once again, as you guys can see, it's dropped. And the reason it's dropped is probably because these cartel packs are recycling these old items, and so supply and demand. But as you guys can see here, the reason I like it so much is that really kind of wrinkly, ruggedy feel. Honestly, it reminded me of the Green Goblin from Spider-Man a little bit. But just in general, I can totally see someone wearing this. Like, it, look, it goes well with a really good kind of Rackle look. So if you wanted to roleplay during the Rackle event or something, this would be a really nice armor set to wear. Uh, but just in general, yeah, I can definitely see someone dyeing this black and using it on a Sith. It would look completely awesome. Probably not the helmet. The upper body armor is the one I really like from this. But the helmet's pretty nice as well. And for that price, it's a really good armor set. 
All right, the next one we're gonna talk about here is the Skilled Hunter. This is one of the armor sets that I was actually really surprised to see going for this low of a price. Um, as I'll show you guys in the preview here for a little bit, the really good part about this armor set is the upper body armor. Now the color scheme is horrendous in my opinion. Uh, it kind of goes with that really kind of Robin Hood feel, honestly, like something Robin Hood would wear. But um, the reason I like it is the upper body armor obviously shows off your abs and stuff. And that's honestly a really popular armor style. Like every armor piece that I've seen that shows a lot of your upper body armor like that, that's really kind of exposing, has sold for a ton on the GTN. So I have no clue why this is selling for so cheap. But this is an armor set that I've seen for months sell at this price. So it's definitely a good buy for anyone that wants an armor set like that. You know, if you don't have the millions of credits to get the other ones that have that similar style, definitely check out getting this one. Alright, going next we have another Sith themed armor set. This one is the Fearsome Harbinger. A really old one, but definitely a really nice one. As you guys will see, every part of this armor set is nice. The helmet is really cool. Beautiful, beautiful helmet for Sith. And also the upper body armor has a really nice style to it as well. Uh, this is one of the few armor sets where if I was going to use it on a Sith character, I'd probably use just the entire armor set itself. It looks really nice. Um, the helmet would also probably look really nice with a hood. So you guys can see it's bronze, so it's not going to have the best, you know, style or ornamentation to it. But once again, consider the price and consider the fact that it's a really cheap armor set for anyone that's probably just starting off on a new Sith character in Korriban or something. It's going to be a perfect armor set to wear. The next one here is one of my personal favorite upper body armors, the Alliance Emissary. Now this is really cheap because recently the Eternal Command Hyper Crate was on blowout sale and I'll show you guys the upper body armor in a little bit. This one, as you guys can see, the upper body armor you could probably get for cheaper than just the armor set. So if you don't quite have those many credits for the entire armor set, you can get the, just the upper body armor for even cheaper because that's what you really want. As part of my kind of buying low, selling high recently, I've actually been picking up a ton of these for like 50,000 credits. That's how low they dropped because of the blowout sale. But as you guys can see, it's a beautiful looking upper body armor. The ornamentation is awesome. There is a cool theme, but also I can totally see it going for any like Republic characters who are, you know, um, something you'd probably wear on Coruscant or something, I don't know. But either way, a beautiful armor set for that price. That's one thing you gotta consider, guys. These things are going for extremely cheap for how nice these armor sets are. I would honestly have probably sold these for way higher if I could, but, um, I don't control the economy. Anyways, the next one here is the Daring Rogue. Similar to the Skilled Hunter armor set I showed you guys earlier, the really good part about this upper body armor is it exposes your abs a little bit. And I know it sounds a little weird, but honestly, that stuff sells for a ton. Like, people like those types of armor sets. I uh, Just look at the unfettered trench coat as an example, a really rare one. But these are all bronze, right? And the fact that they're bronze means they're very common drops. So even though they have a similar style and they're really cool, they go for really cheap prices. So that's going to be to the benefit of for all of you guys who are looking for these cheap armor sets. So that's a really nice one as well. Well. The next one here is the Nomad armor set. This is one of the armor sets that I also showed off in that last video, so it's kind of been cheap for a very long time. Uh, I, once again, I just kind of like the upper body armor. The helmet's unique and all, but I don't really like the style. But the upper body armor, I use this upper body armor so much. If you look at my old videos from one and a half years ago and stuff, I was always wearing this upper body armor. I honestly really loved it, and eventually I just kind of got sick of it because when you use the same armor set for a long period of time, you kind of just you know, want to try something new, but uh, I've been thinking about going back to that one. I really loved it. It kind of works as a cheap kind of knockoff white dye. So if you use that upper body armor, then it'll dye your whole armor set, everything you're wearing white. So it's really cool. All right, the next one here, we have a nightlife operative. This one is also relatively new. Uh, really, really nice. This is probably one of the nicest bronze armor sets they've come out with recently. Uh, this was back in the battler pack and it honestly sells for um, a lot uh, it sells for less than it kind of did a few months ago. Like it was, this was a really popular selling armor set and now recently it's kind of taken a dip in price as well. The upper body armor is a reskin of the Herald of Zildrog. So it's basically the exact same uh, upper body armor just minus the hood. And a lot of people were asking for it. That's kind of why Byra gave it. As you guys can see, exactly the same, just a little bit uh, different in terms of color scheme. Uh, the Herald of Zildrog is nicer just because it kind of has that pure black theme to it. But nonetheless, a really nice and cheap knockoff. And so um, that's another good one there. All right, the next one here. Oh, uh, wait, here I'll show you guys the, um, what it's selling for. The Herald of Zildrog, yeah, as you guys can see, sells for a ton that upper body armor. So, you know, in my opinion, just get the cheaper knockoff version. Looks exactly the same. And most people kind of don't want the hood, so I guess it's better in some respects. 
All right, next one here is going to be the Gav Daragon armor set. This is another one that was from the last video, so it's been cheap for a very long time as well. And this is just downright an awesome, awesome armor set. It has such a distinct style, and this is probably one of the few armor sets where there's nothing like it in the game. Uh, the only other armor set like this is the Jory Daragon armor set, which in itself has a very different style as well. But as you guys can see, it kind of goes off of this kind of Olympic Greek god theme, and I use it on my Sorcerer. It looks absolutely amazing. It's one of my favorites, I've got to say. The Gab Daragon armor set is one of my favorites. And that used to sell for millions back in the day. I can't believe it's dropped for so cheap. I mean, that honestly used to sell for millions. I remember, I think when I unlocked the armor set for myself, I paid a, a couple of million for it. All right, the next one here is the Edelon's armor set. This is one that I never really knew about, and I figured it, uh, found it about it recently. Uh, it honestly looks really nice with the price that it goes for. I really like the uh, upper body armor, it kind of has a nice metallic feel to it. The helmet once again actually looks rather nice and uh, the entire armor set together has a lot of spikes and stuff coming out. That's relatively rare, you don't see much of that. It's kind of got that Freed and Nad vibe going with the gloves have really nice spikes and then the back has kind of those two wings. So it's a really unique theme to it and um, definitely really nice for that price. I don't even know what cartel pack it comes out of honestly, I've never seen this armor set before. I just found it one day and decided to check it up and I thought it looked really cool. Anyways, that ends the video guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I kind of want to do a 2017 update version, so that's what I've done here. Um, once again, if you don't see these going for cheap directly after the video, that's probably because someone watched this video and went and bought them. So, um, you know, just kind of give it a week, maybe one and a half weeks, and you'll probably find these deals once again going very low on the GTN. These are items that just for months have been going at this price, and I'm still dumbfounded as to how such nice armor sets are going for so cheap of a price. But anyways, I do hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Let me know what's your favorite armor set in the comment section. Maybe let me know what's some of the best deals you guys have found. What's some of the nicest armor sets you've found for under a million credits. I'd love to hear about that. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one.